about uh, agitations by some ex-soldiers. Uh, we have uh, Major uh, uh, Derek on the line to, to give us some updates. Uh, sir, thank you very much for your time. What's the very latest? Yeah, thank you, my brother. Uh, the latest uh, information about the whole issue is that uh, we have now met in Parliament House. Uh, the first issue was with the prison service. We have charged that issue out. We are uh, now waiting for the arrival of the minister. The military hierarchy is here, EDS is here, defense financial controller is here, and all the top officers of Ghana and forces are all here. Earlier on, the, those who have gone on pension, the, those uh, retired soldiers in the morning were also here in their numbers. Uh, they presented their petition officially to us, and then uh, they were talked to. But I went personally and went and talked to them, or the whole people, and then I asked them that they can go home. Uh, I don't think they are part of um, the, the meeting today. We have received their, their petition and we will go into it. We are just waiting for the arrival of the minister to join the, the, the CDS and his uh, uh, team of officers. And then we proceed on to look at the problems one by one, one by one, after, after which uh, we will let you know. Uh, what what ha transpired mm, right uh, and let me mention that major retired uh, Derek Odro is a ranking member of the defense committee of parliament uh, just before you go uh, I mean listening to uh, these ex military men they they contend for instance that in 2010 uh, they were asked to go on voluntary retirement uh, when you listen to their concerns are they legitimate yeah legitimate uh, maybe the, the the terminology voluntary retirement is when you come and you sign for a uh, number of uh, years. You know, it's, it's, it's an agreement that uh, you are going to serve for 25 years. When the time uh, reaches, uh, you have to uh, compulsory go on uh, retirement. That is uh, the terminology. Not that they were forced to go on uh, retirement, but that is the period that you sign for. And almost all, all of them, all of them, when it gets that time, and there is uh, the need for you to maybe proceed on to uh, certain op operations, say in Lebanon, Liberia, any other uh, peacekeeping operational areas or any other assignment, you'll be uh, called upon to do it so that you will not go home at that time. When you come back, uh, you, 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 that is an injury time for you. you. You could be asked to go any moment you return from that operational area. Meanwhile, your time was due before you were even asked to go. So compulsory retirement in the armed forces doesn't mean that you were asked to go compulsory or to go when you are not a uh, expected to go. No, that is the terminology that we have here. So compulsory retirement is different from what uh, you in the, the civil street understand it. All right, thank you very much. We're going to leave it here. Major retired uh, Derek Odro is a ranking member of the Defense Committee of Parliament.